<clears throat> okay, for this step, I'm threading the, uh, the um, valve stem. I have um, a straight shank uh, Jacob's chuck uh, set up in my six jaw. My six jaw doesn't close small enough to be able to chuck up the, the uh, stem directly, so this, this works quite well. So I'm going to thread this uh, from left to right. So in order to make a right-handed thread, I need, <clears throat> I need to be spinning the lathe backwards, okay, well, clockwise as it's facing this way, and I need to thread so that the carriage moves from left to right, so I'm gonna thread away from the chuck. I have it set up to 40 threads per inch. I have my, my lathe in back gear, which means it's gonna spin slowly, so I'm gonna to touch off on this, and I'm gonna take about a 10 thousandths cut and um, see how it goes. And then I'll probably take another five or 10 and then check the fit. So I need to be going backwards, spinning backwards. And then I'm just gonna touch off on the material. Yeah, I saw it and saw it at about uh, 150 thousandths on my thread dial. Come back in here, and then I'm gonna engage on a whole number. Technically, I can engage on any one of the marks on this, but I kinda like to make sure I'm doing the same one each time. So I'm gonna engage it when it comes over and hits the two. And There it is, there's my scratch pass. I'm gonna come back over. And I'm into the groove, so. Until it comes around, it's the one. Take the valve, see if it fits, and it's a little snug. It starts, but it's a little too tight. 
So I'm going to go 175. Go back off. Reverse. Pretty good. I'm gonna <clears throat> take a spring pass at that. That looks pretty good. Check the fit. Yeah, it fits nice. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to thread all of them. And then the last step I have to do is that the is Cut, the, cut them off to length and counter bore the bottom. So the bo bottom of these is not um, uh, solid like this. They're counter bored to accept the spring. So I'm going to finish threading them all and then uh, counter bore.